The Saiga, one of nature's most complicated creatures. The question is, where has all of its population gone? To the grasslands? To its most fiercest predators? From its strange nose? To its large horns? This is the Saiga. During the summer, the Saiga has a thin brown coat of fur. During the winter, it has a thick white coat of fur to keep it warm. Saigas have a big flap over their mouths so that they can breathe clean air through all that dust. Additionally, male Saigas have large 6 to 10 inch horns. Unfortunately, for the time being that is, saigas are pronounced critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature and are one of the fastest declining mammal species in the world. This is mostly due to a mysterious disease that scientists still haven't figured out yet. There have been some guesses, but no one's completely sure. In the 1960s, saigas became extinct in China. Around 12,000 years ago, they became extinct in America, mostly due to climate and geographical changes. 95% of the Saiga population has vanished since around 1990. Saigas live in open grasslands. This is mainly so that they can quickly escape from predators. As a result of this, they only eat any easy to reach shrub or herb lying around. What's left of the Saiga population is protected in certain parts of Asia. And to end this documentary off, Saigas live for 6 to 10 years and are mainly hunted by wolves, but are also hunted by red foxes, feral dogs, and golden eagles. Humans also poach them, but mostly to make types of medicine in China. They have also played a big role in their population decreasing. Look at the grasslands, why does it look so dry? It's cause they have no rain, snow, or sleet, or sky. There's so much sunshine that you can get a tan. Boom, 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 boom. Look, it's a zebra. Oh, wait, it's getting eaten by a cheetah. It's part of grass and life. Pred prey relationship. Farewell, zebra. Boom, 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 boom,